Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We on Lake Monticello. We at the lower ramp this morning. Water's way down. Hey, I, we might catch some fish today. Let's see what we can do on Lake Monticello. God bless all of you. Let's go fishing and see what we can catch. Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman, he's back with you. We're on Lake Monticello. Water's way down. Probably going to rise. And it probably won't bite. Probably been biting all morning. Kind of late getting over here. That's the way my routine is anymore. Later and later, the older I get. But anyhow, let's see what we can do. See if we can find any perch that's biting. We just ran out here and we find something, hopefully. We stopped on the gulls over yonder, but didn't do nothing. A lot of gulls, no fish. That ain't good. Fish might not be biting. We just got to hit our spots out here and hope we can get on some. You don't never know. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh my, got him. Oh Lord, I think we got two of them. I think we got two of them. Oh my. First fish of the day. Come out of 47 foot of water too. Nice one too. Two nice ones. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Jumbo Super Dog Magnum. What? Look at the size of that one. That's a good one, ain't it? Hey, hey. I like to catch them like that all day long. We're being cloud nine. Huh. Oh, Lord. Put it back out, China. Who are the big girls off? See if we can catch some more. Them doggone fish. I love catching these perch. Ain't nothing no better. I'm gonna tell you, ain't nothing no better. Best action there is. It ain't too hard on your arms and it's wonderful with, these, with this uh, icon rod. Scent croc. All right, let's see if we can get another. There he is. Got him. Getting it way up yonder. Way up, they're running up here because of sunlight. See, got a lot of brightness. Medium size. I'm using a uh, inch and a half June bug at the bottom. We're using a big daddy jig in the middle, probably to take that off. And then we're using a uh, two and a half inch swimming metal June bug Charlie Brewer at the top. What we're doing is fish down there. And they all biting some, so that's good. See if we can get some more of them, get them activated. That's the main thing, you gotta get them activated. Hey, they hit it. See, got it again. Hey, they're running up after it now, that's a good thing. Running up after it. And we can catch them when they run up after it, folks. That's a nice one right there. That's a jumbo. That two jumbos, oh lord. I got my dog on leader too long. <laughs> I can't pick it up. I don't know why I got it so long, but I do. But hey, you see it. You see it. Love fishing with the old fisherman. I hope you do. Anyhow, I love fishing with myself. I tell you that. Hey, who don't love it? You catching fish, who don't love it? We always. And I will repeat that, just about always catch fish. Sometimes I'll have a terrible day that I can't adjust. And it drives me nuts when I can't find them too. And when I know I can, but I can't. And that's, that's what keeps you going. That's what keeps the excitement in the, in the catching fish is because is, it's not the same every day. It's not the same. Hey, got a few. we're catching a few. And that's always good. A little action, can't beat it. A little action. At that time, though, I'm going to tell you, you constantly see me working this boat. If you don't, you don't care. That's why fishing with somebody, two people in a boat, really is a handicap. Because you can't move the boat like it needs to be moved to really catch these fish. That's why I don't like taking people this kind of fishing because in each other's way. I mean, if you got a fella in the back that kind of knows what's going on, 
When I took Richard, we didn't have any problem, but he was slinging it out. So you, you got to kind of, it, it, it's an art of fishing together, this style of fishing. And don't even try to fish with minnows and do this at the same time. It don't work. It's that simple. It will mess you up and you won't catch nothing trying to fish with minnows at the same time doing my style of fishing. If you're going to minnow fish, just sit out there and let it sit straight on the bottom. If you're going to fish like this, do it. But don't try to do both. It won't work. I done tried it. Don't work. You, you stay in a mess is what you stay. A total mess. You won't see me fishing with minnows no more. You can catch the devil out of these perch with minnows. But I won't do it because I'd rather catch them. I'd rather feel the thump. And that's my style. And if you don't know how to operate the boat and manage the boat, the best thing you can do is buy some minnows and you drop it to the bottom and pull up about a foot. Best thing you can do is catch them. They ain't eating it up now, but they is somebody. Come on. Circle around here, we get them stirred up again. Like you catch a couple and they get settled back down to the bottom. What they do. They all they have, unless they're really tearing it up. You drop on a new spot, it takes a little while to activate them. They hardly ever hit it the first time. They hit it the first time, they hot. That's all this did. They hot. Most of the time, I got to pull it up three or four times before they run off the bottom and hit it. Right there's a whole hill or something coming up looking at my jig. Them, if them fish, there's a bunch of them down there. And if it's shad, I can understand it. It might be fish. Find out on this pool. Let's see. Nope. Yep, that was fish. One bump, bump, bumped it. <clears throat> he bumped it. All right. See if we can get another to buy that. Uh-uh. Baby poop that is. Got it way up yonder. Oh my, way up yonder. Way up yonder. Hey, a nice ones, dude. These good ones out here. These here nice fish. Compared to what I caught in Lake Murray yesterday, these are whoppers. Lake Murray, Lake Murray was producing some little fish yesterday. Well, they all, it's a whole drove of them under there. I'm telling y'all, there's a bunch of them in here. Hence they eat up these perch. They eat up. No question. Hey, there he is. Got him. He reached out there and got it. That, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's some good ones down there. They just don't want to bite. Problem. Big old perk. Now he had the blue. Hey, maybe blue's answer. But you know what? Caught him in the bottom of the lip. He didn't want it. He did not want it. He did not want it. We snag hooked that fish. Snag hooked. Hit it again. See, got him. Hey, we might be got what they want now. We might be figuring it out, putting that on orange on there. See what he's on. He ain't a whopper, but let's see what he's on. Now he's on the top one. He's on the junk bug. He ain't a bad one. He's on the junk bug. Doggone junk bug. Folks, I believe we got a little kitty cat on. I was dropping it down, messing with my phone. I don't know what I got. It's pretty nice. And it's probably, a, probably a medium sized catfish. That's what I'm thinking. Because the jig is just falling down in 60 foot of water and the catfish hit it. <clears throat> I think that's what it is. Yeah. Old catfish. Hit that doggone June bug, believe it or not. 
He showed you. He grabbed old June Bug and June Bug grabbed him. Ow. I messed up my lines. I was gonna throw him back, but he's not messed up everything. I'm gonna keep him now. I mean, he's got the whole mess in an uproar here. I mean a whole mess and uproar. We get right back with y'all. Hey folks. Moving along here slow and got another nice one on. Hey, it's stirring up a little bit. 51 foot. We might be I got back on the mother load here. This is a nice one here. Might be more than one. That ain't but one. Oh, it's two. It's two. Yeah, it's two. Look at that. Two super dogs. Sure is. One on the dog on slab happy lure. Y'all see it? <laughs> One on the uh, Charlie Brewer. Two and eight and swimming mama. Let's put it back out. We got a whole bunch of them down there now. See ya? Got it. That angle's the key, folks. Angle's the key. Oh Lord, I might have another one. Maybe we'll stir them up out here. Lake Monticello, loving some life. On a beautiful hot day. This is the kind of days I normally don't catch nothing, but we are struggling and we are finding a few. Look at that, two at a time again. Hey, we might have the combination now. Y'all see it? Slab half a lure on the bottom. Get a mess up here. Have happy to lure. I'll get them now. And Charlie Brewer. Perry Hensley is the owner of Slab Happy Lure. Fine fella. All right, let's see if we catch a nut. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's see if he'll fish for me and get me a nut. He might take our time because they ain't biting no how, so you might as well take your time, come up slow with it, and see if he can stir up a nut to bite. I believe we got two, and they're stirring up. I see them. I believe we got two. Oh, yeah, two at a time. See that? That's the way you do it, folks. When they don't want to bite, you get one on, you go slow, and you might get a nut on double your reward double your reward that top jig's all messed up hey let's get it back down and see if we catch two more like that that's fun that's fun doing that hey we getting some now on a day that, that most people be done give up and going home i seem the time i'd give up and go home but i'm in 57 foot of water catching them deep that's what we're doing Making them bite. 57, 58. That's where the whole mother load is right here. Mother load is right here. We get it down. We pull it. One ought to take it. What I'm thinking. There you go. Took it on the way down. Took it on the way down. I seen the line jerk on the way down. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I don't think we got but one, but lordy, lordy, lordy. Maybe we're stirring them up now. Maybe they'll start feeding. Look at that. Huh? Got him on the doggone slab happy. Look. All right. Put it back down. Hey, we got it going on now. I'm seeing some stirring up off the bottom like a Christmas tree. That's what you want to see. You want to see that Christmas tree in yellow. Yellows and purples. The more yellow, the thicker it is. The more of them it is. That's what you want to see. We got a good bit of yellow down there now. Turn this boat. See if we can make it happen on this lake on a calm conditions. They not feed. Low, low water too. I don't think the water's moving, but I ain't sure that I get back to ramp. Turn that boat. 
Now we're getting a little breeze coming across the lake. That might ignite them. They might go to feed like crazy. Who knows? Sometimes that's all it takes. I think the birds be laying all over the water and the breeze will start and then the birds will start flying and next thing you know, the fish is eating it up. I've seen that happen before. That breeze causes a reflection, less reflection in the water. Come on, boys. Don't quit. Getting good to me. 57 foot now. We got fish out of that. There's fish there. Because they, they rose up off the bottom and went back down. See if we can make one bite. There you go. Oh, I missed him. Oh, you got to have a slant on it, though, to make them bite. You got to have a slant on it. Got to have it. Not that time, but they stirring up. They looking at it. They looking at it. Whole bunch of them. 59 foot deep on the side of a drop. Where they at? Whole drove of them down there. See, golly, he hit it, not taking it. Not taking it. Hey, doggone it, missed him again. Oh, I hate it when they miss it. that time. Might be done pulling my jig down. <coughs> as soon as the wind started, the birds started diving out the probably perch out there where they diving. Alright folks. The pool out here with them gulls are diving and sure enough fish is here. We got them stirring up the wind started blowing they might go to bite. They might go to bite. Oh my! They might go to bite. We got a couple on here. Maybe three. We got three on. I mean, good ones. Look at that. Three at a time. Lake Monticello with Super Dog Magnums. Look at him. That wind might put them in the feed, y'all. It might. Look at the size of that. Look at the size. Well, that dog don't perch. Oh Lord, I got to knock my line. That is not good. Sure will break where a knot is. That's a knot there and it's a tight. I can't get it out. We're gonna have to fish on. What's gonna happen? It's gonna break off. Hey, we caught a couple nice ones on that. There might be some big ones in here. Woo! Put it out. What a big boy's life. Loving life with the old fishing. Them fish might turn on as soon as that wind starts, they might turn on. I got it on spotlight right now. It ain't good to have it on spotlight, but if they'll bite on spotlight with the wind blowing, that's what I want. We're gonna try it on spotlight. If it don't work, then we're gonna put the angle on it. Take it off spotlight. The wind went from nothing to about 15 miles an hour just instant. That's what it told me. Instant. We know they're there. We can make a bite. I have to get the angle on them to get them to bite it. I'm telling you, these jokes are funny. They are funny. It ain't. They ain't biting it without the angle. We got to put the angle on it. That wind makes it tough to do that. We're gonna try. Pull it out here. See if we can make something happen on this lake. Hey, there he was. I tell you, they like that angle. See, got him again. Get it up high. Oh my, get it up high. Lord have mercy, there goes another. What? There goes another. Hey, gosh, there goes another. It ain't this a big one. Oh Lord, we got that knot in that line. That is not good. That is not good, folks. We're gonna end up getting that broke off. We got two. We got two nice ones. Look at that. 
What? Oh my! Look at him! Look at him! Oh, look at him! Hey! Isn't that slab happy? A jig too. Drop it down. Let's get him nothing, y'all. Let's get him nothing. What y'all say? Big old jumbos. Wind started blowing and a fish starting biting. I love it. What? You gotta love it. Middle of the day, fixing to go home when the wind started blowing. Ain't that something? Ain't been blowing all morning. Blowing now. Plenty of it too. And that's probably gonna turn the fish on. That's what I'm thinking. On. On. one that time. I don't know if I got the bottom or not. I tell you, I had to take it off spotlight and catch one. I put it on spotlight to hold it for position. But I can't catch them unless I take it off spotlight. We're going to try it one time up and see what happens. Nope. I'm telling you, they do not want it straight up and down. You have got to put it on spotlight. I mean, uh, off of spotlight. Drop it down, pull it up, and pull it in the hand. That's the only way you're going to catch it. I'm telling you. They didn't get it that way that time. Drop back down. They there. I mean some good ones. Good ones. G-O-O-D good ones. Come on, boys. Don't quit now. Don't you quit. Y'all going to see you. I know you're there. Don't quit. 60 foot deep right here. There you go. Got him. Got him. We get another to take him. Got him. There goes another, I hope. Got him. I don't know if we got one. We might not have a one. He just took the surge. Ain't but one, but it's one. It's one. And he's a nice one, too. Come in here, boy. Come in here, boy. Get back out with a big girl lie. We might catch a mess yet. Who knows? Got a hope. Oh my, there he goes. Come on boys, give me a nut. I don't believe it's for one though. I don't believe it's for one. Nice one though. Oh, these are good ones. They're hitting that dog on uh, June Bug D, uh, Charlie Brewer. Funny how these fish just turn on, turn off. Amazes me. Simply amazes me. Tell you right now though, you have got to pull this boat. Keep saying it. Can't get a bite straight up there. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. There goes a nut. We don't spot lock. We might have two or three now. I believe we got three. I believe we got three. Oh my! What? They're stirring up, 46 foot is where they at. We got three on them, folks. We got three on them, tell you. Three good ones. Three good ones. Look at him. Three good ones. Swing them in the boat, old fisherman. Swing them in the boat. That's a little one there, but that's two jumbos. 
Look at him. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Hey, die. Jumbo mag. Trying to read about in Perch magazine. What? Oh, don't it? I'm getting the dog on here hooked up. Alright. Drop back out. Hey, I lighten them three at a time. Don't y'all? I like that three at a time. See if we can get them another three at a time. 45 foot. Got it on spot lock. They probably won't hit it on spot lock until I take it off, but I'm gonna try it one time. It all depends. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Up oh, there he was. Up oh, there he is again. Got him. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Got him. I have a nut. Let him fish for me. Fish for me, boys. Fish for me. There goes a nut. Oh my. We're going to fill it up again. We're going to fill it up again. Old fishman getting wound up. My gosh. I love this kind of action. What? I love this kind of action. Oh, feels like got a five pound large map on. What it's like. Look at him. Three at a time. What? Oh my. Three at a time. Lake Monticello. What? Oh my goodness. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Slabs. Jumbo slabs. Oh my. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, drop it out. While we're dropping out, we'll put the other in the drum. What? Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. If I can leave it on spot lock and stay right here, I'd wear them out. But if, if they'll bite up and down. The wind's whipping. They might. Oh, my. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Drop it to the bottom with a big ass line. And really look. Hey, there he is. Got him. Got him. See if he can give me a nut. Got him. Got him. Oh, Lord. Got him. Swim around there, boy. Hey, I think we got, uh-oh, one just got off. Hope he didn't break off that knot. We got that knot to deal with. Oh, my. See that rod, folks? That thing bent double. What? It's bent double. What? Who? Oh, my. Come on in here, boys. To the old fisherman. Oh, we ain't got but two. We ain't got but two. We ain't got but two. I mean two jumbos, too. What I mean. Jumbos. Jumbos. Hey. Yeah, happy Lord Jesus. Hey. It's catching them. Got it on the bottom. That might be our new thing. Pair him. Laugh happy Lord. Look him up. I'll put the number on my description. Tell you what, that little jig's been on there a while, and I caught a lot of them, and it ain't hurt. It ain't soft, it's made of some good consistency. Well, if we can stay on these for a while, we'll have us a good day. It was tough until that wind started biting. Uh, started biting. Started blowing. Old fisherman can't even talk. So he's so excited. Can't even talk. Look how they're going. Oh my, they're killing it. Hey, we on the mother load. Oh Lord have mercy. What? We on the mother low down here now. Lord have mercy. Mother low, that's a nice one. I don't believe we got the one, but he's a nice one. He's a good one. He's a good one. What? He get all jumbos. Jumbos. Get back out. He can get us some more. Jumbos. Woo! Ain't nothing like it. I can't explain to you how it feels to catch two and three fish at a time and get the excitement of catching these fish like I do. Nothing like it. If you people hadn't experienced this, you missing out. That's all I got to say. You missing out. Fishing with more than one jig where you can catch more than one fish at a time and you're not fishing like that, you are missing out, folks. I'm telling you, hey, they're killing it. That thing ain't real big there. And see, the bigger, the smaller they are, the less you're going to get because they're not jerking the line around and making them other ones twitch and go on. Of course, that ain't a bad one, but uh, 
Hey, he just wasn't big enough to pull. Now, now I tore my jig down a little bit. We got to rehook it. I don't mind rehooking these jigs. I know everybody's got their little method they like that they do that they don't have to do that. But I've tried a lot of that stuff, and all it does is I got something to attach that dog on jig up with with these perks. Now, not crappies. They will tear it up. They'll rip it out, and then your jig's gone. So it's worth the effort just to slide it back on. My opinion. Drop it down to the bottom with a big girl's life. What? The big girls. Okay. They already got it. They killing it, ain't it? And y'all remember, we got it on spotlight, so they feeding now. They feeding now, y'all. They feed. You got to love it when they feed. When they coming up there and chasing, they feed. And when they feed, we can hammer them with these three jigs. We can lay it to them, folks. We can lay it to them. Oh my, look at him. Look at him. Three at a time, Lake Monticello. Killing them. Killing them. Killing them. Lord, have mercy. I'm talking dog magnums. What? Dog magnums. Get back out. To the bottom. Well, the big girls like. I know y'all tired of me saying that, but that, hey, that's that's just part of me. I'm being myself right here, right now. I'm the same person with the camera on as the camera off. That's the way I do. When I'm fishing and catching, I'm I might not be hollering as loud because I want y'all to hear it, but I'm just as excited when that camera's off. Because catching fish, my friends, excites the old fisherman. It just totally excites me, and I can't help it. It's in my blood. Once fish catching gets in your blood, you don't get it out. And all you got to do is get in your blood and start figuring it out what to do when they tough. Not get bored with it. Figure it out. Make things happen. Uh-oh. See now, we done pulled it twice and not a bite. That means what? Probably got to take it off spotlight. We're going to try it one more time. They getting where they ain't, they ain't stirred up like they was. And that ain't bite. See that? That's how they go from tearing it up to nothing. So what we'll do at this point is check our jigs. That has a little crooked. We need to we need to reevaluate this jig. I rehooked it and didn't hook it straight. It is not good to have a crooked jig on that line. It is not good at all. It does not work. You don't want it crooked. All right? Let's drop it out. Take it off a of spot lock now at this point. They quit. We're going to take a spot and we're going to pull the boat a little bit. We're in 45 foot of water right here. If we go that way, we're going to go out deeper. If we go that way, we go up a little higher. So we, can, we want to stay on the side of the ridge. So what I'm going to do, and it's hard to do this with wind blowing because you got to watch this line and get around that prop, that motor, and then you got a mess. I don't had that happen before. All right, let's see if we can catch one angle. I don't see them like I did, I'll tell you that right now. They left, got off of them, or they moved. Yeah, I don't think we got off of them, I think they just moved, moved on. Boy, we was in a nest up there for a little bit though. What? Now they done quit, I swear. These jokers are something. Most likely they just got, we got off of them. They still out their feet somewhere. Gotta move around. See when you get back on them. Pretty much. That was good for layers. Oh, there was a bump right there. He's bumping at it and they ain't taking it. Dog's gone. You know they're still out here. There you go. Ooh, I missed him again. Now, there he goes. There he goes. We got him that time. Now, let's let him swim around so we can collect the metal. Let's hope. Don't know. That's a pretty good fish. That's a pretty good fish. Oh, my. That is a pretty good fish. Two of them. Two of them. One of them ain't that big. One of them not. Hey, 
Slab Happy Lewis, Bill Captain. I was digging in my box today and I seen that bag of Slab Happy's. He sent me a long time ago. Yeah. It works. It works. It looks like a, a slider jig, it's a long tail, straight tail. It ain't got a wiggle tail. And it proves you don't have to have a wiggle tail. See if we can get another straight up now here before we had to pull it. Activate another one. Get the foot of water right here. There you Slant. Slant got him. Slant got him, folks. Slant. Slant got him. He ain't that big, I don't think. It's hard to tell. Sometimes they swim up. He ain't that bad. Slant got him, though. Drop it back down to the bottom with a big girl's lie. I see some down at 52, went a little deep. <clears throat> Talk, there he goes. There he goes. Let's see if we can get another to take. I don't know. I don't believe we got but one on that. I don't believe we got but one on this one. That's all. Slab Happy Lures got him though. It ain't but a metal color. It's kind of white and black. Looks a lot like the same color as a Gulf of Live Metal I used to catch, but it don't have the fork and tail. Apparently, you don't need it for it to tell. Drop it back down to the bottom. Boy, the big girls, I, I'm a, I'm, I don't understand why we ain't got a large man. We ain't. Oh, there's a bite right now. They ain't got a large man. Not the first one. There he goes. Lord have mercy. There he goes. Might get a two on this one. Or a three. Don't know. I can't tell you. Might not have but one. But we got one. We know we got one. That's all we got. He's a nice one. He's a good one. What? He's a good one. Just tore my doggone jig up again. Let's see if we can get him rebit. Oh yeah, get it back down. Turn the bottom. Boy, the big girl's life. We got some pretty nice perch in here. They're a lot bigger, they're a lot bigger size as a whole than Lake Murray's all right now. Lake Murray gets some big ones in it now. They got big ones. They just we ain't catching the big one. Hey, we catching these though. I guarantee you on that. Ain't one at a time though now. Dog on it. One at a time. But they nice ones. June bug got him. Oh June bug. Go get him, June bug. I believe that's a dance, ain't it? The June bug? I don't know. Who knows? Love and life, trying to fill ice chest. 
white perch. They got put in accidentally, I think, and then they went everywhere. I'm kind of glad they did, though, but it's kind of hurt a lot of other stuff. But white bass, we used to catch white bass just like this, same way. Catch them several this time also. There you go. That white bass got out in this lake. I ain't caught one in, I think I caught about eight or ten a couple years ago. I ain't caught one in a while. Not in this lake, and this is usually the time I catch them out here suspended. But I ain't caught one in a while. 